Hi, I'm Bob Lederer, editor and publisher at RFL Communications, and welcome to Research Business Daily Report for March the 15th, 2012, sponsored by Reinvention, sampling simplified. I suggest you check out their website, reinvention.com, for more information. Before we hit the news, a brief housekeeping note. We were led to believe that anyone who subscribed to this service through the YouTube channel in which it is hosted would receive a notification every time a new posting was put up. That appears not to be the case, so if, if you'd like a reminder from us every time a new RBDR goes up, and that's Monday through Thursday, please send an email to info at rflonline.com and in the subject line just include the words subscribe RBDR. B2C and B2B are a big part of every researcher's vocabulary. NetBase provides a social intelligence platform that operationalizes the use of social media data and insights and it has introduced what it calls C2B. It says it's helping businesses with its consumer-to-business model in which customers guide brand perceptions. Moving on, New Hampshire's Attorney General has threatened lawsuits against top national pollsters if they push poll in the state. In response, Whit Ayers, president of Ayers McHenry & Associates and chairman of the American Association of Political Consultants, charges that the Attorney General is too strictly enforcing a 14-year-old state law. Further, he charges that the AG's failure to offer, quote, clear guidance for how legitimate survey researchers can avoid being caught in a legal web, end of quote, will have a chilling effect on phone research. The law in question requires informing the person who receives any call to be told which candidate the call is being made on behalf of, in support of, or in opposition to. Next, IGR Research is projecting that by 2016, 96% of all U.S. mobile handset sales will be smartphones. The associated advances in mobile device hardware and software, plus improvements in carrier networks, will have handsome capability and reach benefits for mobile researchers. And I suspect it will open an explosion of point-of-purchase research as one result. In fact, that research will be quite different from anything that we even perceive of today. Finally, the Small Business Administration's Office of Advocacy has launched a website to help companies access both federal government and non-government data for their market research. That's Research Business Daily Report from March the 15th of 2012, sponsored by Reinvention, Sampling Simplified. I'm Bob Lederer, wishing you a great weekend, and we'll see you first thing Monday.